Good morning. It is a good morning, actually. Uh, welcome to Street Treasures. We got an empty trailer, and we're about to fix that issue with Frigidaire Commercial. Smells pretty good. Sorry, you got to do the smell test every now and then. Sometimes you'll be pleasantly surprised about how nasty it smells. Got me a cup of coffee in me. Got water coming out of it. Yeah, I flood the other gate down. You just hang out right there, you're fine. It is a start. Let's see if we can fill it today. Not sure. We'll see though. Gates are down, which means we got something that's gonna be decent size. How about another double door refrigerator? I mean, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Somebody fought to get it out of here though, because it's laid down. <laughs> Smells like Clorox. Good enough for me. I do need to look though. That's heavier than I than I anticipated. <laughs> okay. Regret this, ain't I? Oh no no no! Weird. That's what sticks. Okay. It's not bad. We'll use their technique again because it works. Can't complain too much about it. Come on. All right. We got a stainless steel line on here. All right. Well, that's two bigger items quickly. All right now, you gonna work with me this morning? Second item, check. Maybe it's got daylight enough. It kind of came quick to be honest with you, but we got, we got this. <laughs> I really thought it was a microwave. I was wrong. One of these wine coolers. What else we got over here? I'm probably gonna have to pull this back out to get the cord off of it though. Bon Appetit. Ooh, fancy. Huh. I'm leaving it. something uh, 
I don't, I guess someone's tried to get into something. Oh, that's a PS4. And this right here. Control board out of here? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go that way. PS4 is toast. Like this is where something would go out. I mean, the board and stuff seems to still be in here. Dish drive. I don't know. It's soaking wet. Like it's dripping with water. So I don't know. We do want the bed frame, though. We do want that. Yeah, see, like they've already been into this. We'll take this just because accessible come on <laughs> how does one break and the other does it there it goes temporarily for this stuff <clears throat> look we have sides already <laughs> flexible sides It's not going to be permanent because this right here i'll probably turn this way yeah i gotta get those cords off though so i'll probably turn this this way against here strap have a place to stack some vertical and then i won't take up a lot of room doing it that way neither we'll get there there was a reason I stopped, and it's because of the fan. I don't know where the bottom part is. I guess it's over here, right? Yeah. Uh, sorry, like coming apart. So we're gonna take the time and finish breaking it down. Some aluminum. Just stay. It's fine. Bend that we're here. All right. Here. But this is what we came up with. It's nothing special, to be fair me being trying to be a little bit more cautious of today because we are finding some larger items and we find a few more bigger items like this and we've got maybe one two three more big items then we got to really start looking <laughs> i mean that's a sight something there too All right, well, there's nothing but the thing but to do it. I can stare at it all day. Each one of these are gonna have actually decent boards in them. So I'm gonna have to tear them apart. All right. Well, you know. It don't take that long for real. A few screws, pop them out, and then you're done. About to say, I didn't. I tore one of these apart. They don't have great boards on them, but uh, I 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Guess what? Uh, I guess that'll be our Friday video. Hmm. Tearing apart those doohickeys. I would take the remotes, but it's rained <laughs> or got wet or <clears throat> something along the lines. Feels kind of wrong to put just this little one thing in here. I mean, we got the other, what, pressure cooker over here. Crock pot, thingamajig. Crock pot, thingamajig. Not pressure cooker. Not a bad stop. I may try the chest mount out when I'm tearing those apart. Yeah, they're, they're pretty straightforward. You take all the screws out, get the board. It's gonna be a mid-grade board inside, but uh, on some of them, some of them I noticed something that uh, it's actually worth decent money, so like bite stuff. That was a decent stop. What are you? Don't know. It's got some more in it though. <clears throat> Not happening. All right. All right, on the other side of the pile was this actually really nice thick piece of steel like it is thick I don't know. and uh, of course the cord connected to that piece I always do a walk around it's always been having them on make sure I'm not forgetting tools or an item or something just don't know seen a bike another bike this one isn't it this one isn't in terrible shape neither they actually got some decent air in the tires uh, yep don't hate for this one too I got a home for it as well. I just helped old dude finish getting all this stuff out here, so I kind of already know what's out here. Got some golf clubs. King Cobra. You'll see any good ones? I'll go on the back of the truck for now. I don't know much about golf clubs, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know you hit a little round white ball normally. I thought that was coming for me, by the way. I did drop a piece. There it is. Uh, Christmas tree box over here. We'll take a look at. See if it's in there. M&M &M cup. That's about it there. 
All right, Christmas tree time. Are you in here? No, there's some metal though. Some more of that cast iron stuff. Aluminum. Caught my eye a little bit. I don't know what it was, but Ooh, Mac Mini. I'll take the box. I'll take that box too. No, we won't. It's a bit damaged. Some rebar. We'll come and close up the box. I don't know why I got that in my hand still, but. Go close the box and we'll uh, get on our way. Put it back in there. Not terrible of a stop. The box has kind of been seen better days too. Not sure if it's plastic or metal. I'm gonna stay trooper here. Add it to the collection. The scrap has slowed down to a crawl, but we're crawling our way to a to somewhere in between here. There, we're still good on that. Okay. Morning, dog. Dog. Um, no brainer that the grill's gonna go on, uh, but this. This is kind of the the next thing. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we get the grill on and then we just kind of collapse that over it, maybe? We'll give it a shot. Because the route's kind of getting smaller and smaller. It's been a weird day. Like, uh, I mean, we found some things. That's for sure. Let's give that a test. The handles are stainless. It won't take me but a second to get those off. Okay. Now this. Oh, it's not light neither. It comes in two pieces. How do we get to that point? A little bit of work. Have to take this off, this off. I think we'll be good if I were if I can't get it on like this. Let's go test. Oh, that's not light. Hey. Let me get that off real quick. I may go ahead and just work on getting this in two pieces. That may be the path of least resistance we have. Give or take, I guess. Could just stand it up. That's a thought and a half. Just stand it straight up. Yeah. Let's do that. <clears throat> then I don't gotta take nothing apart.
and we'll uh, run a get us a hole there and we'll go through it it's not gonna go nowhere for real anyway I'm actually good with that. I don't even need the straps. Well, we can break it down if we need to. But right now, I think we're okay. We got the uh, the always knowing chair. And look at that piece of steel right there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's got some oomph to it. I mean, hey now, I, I, I'll get to you in a second. I may have a purpose for that. Things running through the head. We got the blower. We got the, the hedger. What else we got? That's it. That's it. Oh, dog saying hey to us. Should have came around just a tad bit uh, more, but we're, we're good enough. We're good enough to make it work. Did have to take this off, so probably have to strap it down. But that's okay though. We'll make it work one way or the other. The other gate. A little bit more room. Get it on there. Okay. This is just gonna go on top and then we'll strap it. I can't get this one off. I tried. <laughs> strap across it we should be good we definitely have got a decent load i mean we're gonna keep going until we can't get anything on there it's just the nature of what i do at all and i still got room on the truck theoretically i can throw some things so all right there looks like a good spot doesn't it? and uh yeah no we're about to be wrapped up on this load. Got about a few, three more good rows to go down. We've got a refrigerator, deep freeze. I mean, y'all seen it. Two grills, a dryer, a thing, and a few little miscellaneous pieces. I wouldn't say it's been a long video, but probably around 60 to $70 again today. So, Lord willing, it's more, but hey, what can you say? So the new operator's name's Noah. The old one was uh, Randall. And uh, I've actually known him for a very long time, believe it or not. A lot longer than I've known Randall. Before, so.
it's hard to believe the scrap pile used to be all the way out here like we'd have to watch out for the power lines but So she wrote, I guess we'll uh, finish. They got a car coming in too, so let's get up here and finish this real quick. Well, y'all take it easy, guys. We'll see what it weighs and pays. All right, well, we'll do our intro out here because, I mean, it's, it's as good as a place as any. So this right here is where I bring the trailer to get looked at. Um, we had we did go down on scrap prices eight cents now instead of the eight and a half. That's fine. We had 840 pounds 67 dollars and 20 cents not bad not bad. I was hoping for 70 we were close enough But uh, I brought that piece of steel here, you know, he if he can get any kind of piece out of it, then you know kudos to him um, Lucky's right there. Say hey lucky and uh, That's how I know lucky by the way, but great people but uh, these are the uh, golf clubs yet again. Don't see any that y'all like, whatever. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna be done with today. So I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, share, and subscribe it. And uh, see you on the next one. Goodbye.